it's about the people. Neighborhood Connections had worked with a lot of neighborhood groups, um, resident-led groups that were reclaiming public space and saying, we're going to make this space our own. And they said, well, how do we start connecting all these different projects that are happening? And so out of that was born the City Repair Project, the City Repair Cleveland style is what we call it. City Repair is really about neighbors coming together to take ownership of their neighborhood by designing, implementing, and maintaining projects of beauty and projects in their neighborhood space that's going to bring them together. A number of these projects have people of all ages, of, of different ethnic backgrounds, different races, who are coming together to make this happen. As young as five or six years old and as old as the guy made some benches who was 85 years old. These benches why came during the early stage of the bench making where this amazing gentleman named Paul, who I've been told is 86 years old, was throwing around pallets, breaking them apart, and um, basically reclaiming the wood for these amazing benches. Yeah, we first wanted to do a lot of pallets, but we found not only that, but some, a really cool neighbor here, uh, right around the corner over there, had some really good wood, and that wood is something that Paul took apart by hand, actually. They took all the screws out of them and kind of made this wood into uh, some workable pieces of, in of uh, energy and kind of put together. You see the bench, gorgeous bench right there that he kind of hammered and sawed all by hand and uh, put flower pots on the side so people can't take them away. I've been here 35 years. I'm uh, not, not too far from 31st Street there. I say it. It's not the greatest neighborhood in the world, but we're trying to make it better. We've got a nice group of people painting down, down the street here. Maybe you've been down there and seen the uh, uh, work they're doing on the, on the walls. So we have to try sitting on a bench and see how it feels. Part of the benches is that there are these quotes that are going to be burned in. So you don't have to move to live in a better neighborhood. The one in Stockyards was youth-led. It was led by a group of teenagers. You know, kids anywhere from 12 to 19 were, were leading that. And there were some neighbors who weren't really enthused with it, but as they saw, like, these kids were really serious and really interested in making this happen, they said, yeah, let's, let's do it. They're making a design that means something. They're making a design that shows what people believe, that shows why we stay here. You can see the pride in their eyes, the joy in their faces. They're so happy to be making a difference and to be creating something of beauty. It makes our community look better than before. Several neighbors, in particular young people, have come together to paint a mural that they designed and that they are implementing on a wall that was really a little bit um, kind of depressing for really. Before it used to look all uh, ugly and thing, but now it's like way better. It's getting more life. Swift Packing Company, that was a building that got torn down, but for no reason. They did this because Grids Meat, that's a locally famous meat place, and they decided to draw the buildings. This isn't my work, this isn't another third person's work. But I honestly think they did a really good job for how old they are. I think they're only like seven or six. Cleveland ain't the perfect spot, but I grew up and I live here, and I decided to make it a better place. This is putting community back at the forefront. Sergio and his community came together and created this and say, hey, we can do that, I'd like to do that too. We need that here. That's how he got into this. This all came about by the neighbors meeting and everybody's voice being heard. The project itself started with just a few neighbors. This is a, a 816 foot mural um, on the private property of the garages and the fences of the people who live along Newark Court. We're, we're from the, um, from our neighborhood club. We, we was at the meetings and this came about a conversation about getting a grant to clean up this, some of the alleys. 
And this one was the chosen one. This was one of the worst ones. We actually had a total of 27 tons of debris that was hauled out of here. We had shingles, we had rocks. There were tires dumped, there was broken glass. Boulders. Hypodermic needles. Yeah. We've done almost this entire alleyway at this point. It was only supposed to be four or five houses and everybody's been involved. So it's extended to the entire length of the alley on both sides and uh, I mean the neighbors just have been tremendous. It's social interactions with people who don't know each other. I met, I met George at our meeting, right George? Yeah. Yeah we had a couple of meetings. And then we become friends and yeah. he, he makes fun of me all the time. George has not painted in decades and as we're doing this he he was nervous about coming out and doing this. I'm gonna make the leaves kind of uh, just round, uh, just a, a stem yeah. with uh, just uh, round oval leaves and on them. There's a lot of kids that are involved on some of the final um, touches of our mural. I painted a lot of flowers, a lot of butterflies, and a lot of trees. I think that the kids will use the alley more often now that they're participating and painting it. They'll help keep it clean. We could have used you over here painting with us. Yeah. Once she got started, she didn't want to quit. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, the kids were all like, you were really excited. Yeah. Even at dusk, you know, when the, the shadow comes from this side and mm -hmm. hits this, you can see the shadows of these trees against oh, those yeah, trees. Okay. It really looks nice. Yeah. So. They never seen anything like this. Or yeah, I've got all something. kinds of people walking back here now. That... And, and I see couples holding hands. Yeah, that's so cool. In the 20 some years that I lived here, that you know, I got to live here, with my mom, I've never seen it this pretty. The transformation is absolutely amazing, and I and I love it, and I'm excited to see what it will bring in the future. Yeah. Not only to this neighborhood, but what other neighborhoods will see the transformation and what they may be able to do to theirs. It's really important for groups to celebrate their victories along the way and to have fun doing this. People coming together, having a good time together. So there's different artists that have been engaged in this. Michael Mashaga. Um, is, a, is a muralist and he was involved in this project working with the group to help them move this along. David Wright, the late David Wright, he was involved with City Repair from the start. Um, he inspired a lot of people. He connected the residents to, to so many opportunities. I mean, he was a Pied Piper of City Repair. He could get people moving and coming together and, um, and he did it in a very low-key, compassionate way. He was certainly a huge gift to humanity and his loss is huge. This project's been funded through Neighborhood Connections and most of the funds for this have come through the Cleveland Foundation. Our role as funders is not only to provide some support but also to say you can do this. We have a certain voice in the community. People say oh the Cleveland Foundation, Neighborhood Connections, it raises the profile. The funding community is largely focused on social services, right, and on programs for people. And what we're saying is people are programmed out. There's a lot of programs. There's not enough opportunity for people to be themselves, to be in community as who they are, to give their own gifts. People aren't a problem to be solved, right, or a person who's broken. We all have our problems, but, but people have also tremendous gifts and skills and talents, and they're untapped. And if a community is really going to come back, it really needs to start with the people. Neighborhood Connections really creates a space for people to come together, to connect with each other, to say this is what we want to learn together, and then go out and practice those things, right? To go out and do those things. It's about the people. City Repair is part of a larger network called Neighbor Up. Neighbor Up has over a thousand members from Greater Cleveland who are working together to create the community that they want while addressing their current needs. Join us. Check out our website or give us a call for more information. The neighbor Up with us.